Sandy Ryan. <laughs> Hold on, why are you muted? You're muted. There we go. Are we oh, on? look, here she is. Yes. And there still, we what did we okay. say? And I'm, still. I'm, I'm, Oh, there you go. Oh, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Oh, she's representing. I love hold that. Again, I've got to represent I again. Oh, I my days. Listen, congratulations. It's, it's a bit of a mad ass tonight. I don't know if you can hear. My niece wow. and nephew, they're on a mad one. <laughs> Is your twin the there? Top. Your niece, that's your twin. <laughs> no, she's um, the, my niece and nephew here. Is, uh, Rochelle's kids. Ah, okay. Yeah, Shay and Aaliyah. I class them as my niece and nephew. And then my nieces, um, they live in Leeds. I seen them yesterday before I came back up to Derby. And then going to go in, um, in a week and a half, I'm going to go and uh, take them out for a weekend. So, yeah. What a whirlwind. What an yeah. absolute whirlwind. You know what? First of all, congratulations. Um, I watched the fight from home, as you know. And um, you know what? Talk us through it. Yeah, Just like, you know, we we did what we said we were going to do. And um, I just knew I had to be dominant in my performance and that like, I thought, I think it was like the second round or the third that I thought that I hurt her. I thought, you know what? I ain't taking a back step now. I ain't leaving it to the judges. So um, it's probably, for me, myself, probably at times I was a bit reckless. But that's, um, I actually need to watch it back. I'm going to watch it back today. But I felt like probably a little bit reckless and trying to get her out. but. Um, that's where you see the um, trainers in the corner. They were saying, like, just sit down, pick your shots when you're there. And, um, yeah. but yeah, that kind of like, that's what we was expecting. And, and yeah, just get it, get it done, get it. Yeah, it was, it was good listening to the corner because I love listening to the coaches, as you know, because they're like the third eye. They're there to see what you can't. And I remember you yeah. going back into the corner and your coach is saying, you know, like you said, stop being reckless. This isn't yeah. the amateurs. Keep pushing her back. And obviously yeah. when you went out, I think, was that round two? It might have been round two going into round three. Um, mm. But yeah, that that advice when you're in there and you know you can smell that blood. Because I think she was hurting round yeah. one. Yeah, and then and then they were saying she was hurt to the body as well. So I was kind of like, when they said that to me, like, just don't be reckless. This is not amateur. And that's yeah. where, but that's because the fire in me and just what I've been gone through the last few months. And it's just, there was just so much in me that I just need, was needed to get out. And that's probably why I was rushing a bit. Um, but when I do sit down on my shots and I'm and I connect, like I'm gonna do like damage at this way and with these girls. So and you remember like the eight ounce gloves as well. It's just different, isn't it? Yeah, the the you could see, well, you know what? Even though you're saying that you needed to get a lot out of your system, like from us looking in, it didn't look like that. We the thing is with okay. you, Sandy, we always know that you're spiteful anyway. That mm. is something that I've always used to describe your boxing style. You're aggressive and you're spiteful. And you could see that in, in the way that you was throwing the shots together. Fair enough. You know, Terry stood there and was trying to find, yeah. uh, like, throw her own back. But really, yeah. is, that, is that the type of fight that a fighter wants to have with you when it's literally trying to fight fire with fire? Yes, that's what I mean. I, um that's why when like when she said she's going to take me to deep waters um i think cuz i like like i said we we in coming up to a fight you kind of say things don't you know, like build up the fight and whatever and then i was just like but i'd love that if she did stand to to toe but yeah it it's hard because you can't it's not there's no need all between me and terry and um with dead respectful and i like the girl and um, I believe that she might be going back down in week 
So yeah, Eddie more or less said something similar. Yeah, just spoke to him. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just said I'm gonna I support your career and I wish you all the best and everything. So, um, yes, yeah. It is what it is, and I I know you're you know. Sorry, go on. Sorry. It is what it is. I love that saying. <laughs> yeah. I know that you, uh, you know, you are, you know, respectful. There's always that little bit of spite leading up to it. Like you said, I guess it sells the fight or whatever. Uh, Terry's Terry is, you know, a lovely girl, but it's almost like I saw her looking for a way out quite early on in the fight. And I remember saying, uh, cause I was doing a watch along live and I was like, hold on a minute. Is she looked at a corner? Cause obviously impulsively speaking, yeah. And I'm sure that was very early on. And I kind of like got the impression and I think I might have said it that that this isn't going to go the distance, but it's a fight that you won. Like you said, you're not leaving it to the judges. Uh, it no. was a really good performance, you know, one that you will watch back and be like, yeah, I like that. But the big yeah. question, Sandy, and I've had people kind of like asking me, you know, what's next for Sandy? Even after like tweeted it, what's next for Sandy? And when you look at the division now and you think, okay, fighters that you could do, but one of the names that keeps on popping up, but I know she's in the your, she's in your camp, is Michaela Mayer. Everyone said it's Cameron or Mayer. Those are the two names that keep popping up. I know it's up to your team, but what do you think about those fights? Um... I'll fight. I'll fight any any of them. Um. So whatever, whoever my team put towards me, and um, whoever they want me to fight, I'll um, I'll fight. There's like, there's a lot of fights to be made, especially you know the what weight division is. There's a lot of fights to be made. It's a good weight good division. For the girls. Right yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I'll, I'll um, I'll fight whoever. Is a Jessica McCaskill rematch something that you'd be interested in? I know she's going in against Lauren. We spoke about that, but definitely, um, I'd love that. Depending on what how the fight goes, and then what she does, I'd love to have a rematch with Jessica. I think a lot of the supporters really want that as well. To be honest, so that would be nice. Um, but. There's just so many fights to be made, and like, I'm excited to, I'm excited for the future. And even the fact that you could go up against Lauren Price as well. How do you think mm -hmm. that will go for like you know the the British derby? Yes. You know you got the English and the Welsh. How do you think that goes if yeah. you know she comes through? That's a massive fight, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the GB girls. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah, we. Me and Lauren, we're we're cool. Like like you say, we've been on GB together, um, and this is just business. Boxing is just business. So if it gets made, it gets made, and we'll make a massive fight, and some money, and yeah, and 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 give the supporters a, a real good fight. How's your career? If you was to sum up your career so far, Sandy, like your professional career, because mm. you know what. Let me just find this because I've reposted it in my story. It's something that you said. Hold on a second because I've reposted it. One second. Let me have a look through my stories. And I loved it. It's what you said. Let me just, yeah, ignore all that noise because you know me. Hold on. See post. Where is next? When Brian tells me who's next, I'll be taking it. And uh, they'll want to be afraid of me now in the water weight division. They ain't, I ain't losing a fight from now on. That's what I mean. I ain't losing a fight from now on. What I've been through. Yeah. Some, I know you can't sum it up in a, in a sentence, but your professional career so far. And if you want to highlight any like personal battles that you've had to fight, one thing about you is you've got drive, but your words, Sandy? Just, it's hard to, it's hard to explain, but you know when you've been through certain things, like, it makes you into a different person, like, inside. Like, um, 
there's times yeah, I've been through hell and there's like it just built me to what I'm who I am now and what the drive I've got in me and the fire I have in me and uh yeah I feel like that that's just all just makes me who I am now and it's hard to explain that but it's it's going to be and and but it's also going to be very hard for someone to try and beat me with that in me. So um, I'm with my work ethic and how I approach myself now and how I conduct myself in a training camp. It's going to be hard for anyone, any anybody to beat me. That discipline that you have, the fact that you said, you know, you've always been away from home, so training in another country, being further away from home is not something that scares you something that puts any fear in you it was even used oh she's she's got a new camp she's got a new team maybe that's going to be like a chink in her armor but to your testament it's like every time and i and i say this because i've watched you from like the beginning of your professional career every time somebody like tries to put their hands around your throat and drown you or strangle you as it were you fight back there's mm. something, and, I, and I, I can't explain it, only you can explain that. There's something inside of you that exists to make you who you are. You are extremely driven. Mm. Talk to me about drive, Sandy. Just, uh, it's hard, like, it's very, like, personal as well, like, certain things that I've been through. It's like, it's just, just one of them is with my dad, like, Year, a few years ago he um it's just he suffered with mental health and you know when you're seeing someone in them conditions like in front of you switch up like someone that you love like that changes that changes the way you you take things and like if you people can say bad things or do anything bad and it just doesn't affect you because what I've seen and been through, like, yeah, like, I, I've been with, I've been with my dad when he, like, I don't know whether to say it on camera, but, like, when he, he was sectioned and it's like, they them they a few years ago and then I still have all the stuff that's gone on but just things like that like the mental side of it just makes it's made me so like strong and I had to deal with certain things and uh and that's what I believe like that's what's a bit of what's built me to where I am today and um and that's why I don't. That's why I don't mind being alone on training camps and getting through things on my own and stuff like that. Um, but now I have a good, I have a really good team around me, and um, so all I need to concentrate now on training and myself, keeping fit and ready. Like this morning, I was up at six thirty in the morning and I was out doing a five mile run. Like I need to concentrate on myself and getting better and building a future for myself. So, yeah, it's kind of like we could talk all day on stuff like this, but just like the deep things, like certain like little things that people really don't know about me and what I've been through in my life, um, that's kind of built me to who I am today. And that's why I've got that spite in me. Like, and that's why it comes out fight week and, it's like people sometimes people think oh um like in the change rooms this is one I had uh Jamie do my the um, the, the cuts in the corner cut man and he was doing my raps right so um I had music playing in the change room my playlist and my playlist is a bit of a mixture and the first hour I was playing chilled music and I had like Beyonce on I had some like old soul music um and he said to me um this show music sandy i went yeah he went i would never have thought he said 
I always have you as a different person. Like when you come out wearing a balaclava and stuff like that. And I was like, you guys don't know me that fully. I'm such a, a chilled like person. And that when it's fight week, fight day, that's when my spike comes out because that's when I need to switch it on. But other than that, um, if you know me personally, um, yeah, it's different. It is different. It's probably, and... why, probably I'm not always on camera, not always doing interviews. And probably sometimes I need to, to be honest. And I was actually speaking to Brian this morning about maybe we talk a bit more about my past, my upbringing, maybe. And we were so thinking, oh, maybe we do that. And, uh, but yeah, that's just kind of how, why and who I am today. It's a bit of a bit of a little past, but I think as you um mm. yeah, I say I think as you grow as a person, you become more comfortable with who you are and and talking about things. Anyway, there's uh, I'd yeah, never you know try before, and you never I would never have been able to talk. Do you know what I mean? So um, no, nah, it's just easy to. A champion for sure but we're going to end it on a positive if you used to look for three words that you describe your new team and how they've helped you in this last camp and obviously moving forward what would those three words be right um that is a good question <laughs> that's a good question because um, I'm going to ask you the same question in 12 months time when you've got yeah. like four belts um, one word that stands out persistence okay um, it's hard like drive and hunger okay and you know what you've just done there you've described yourself those are words that, because that's what comes to mind. When you think of team, those are three key things that you've just thought of and you've just described yourself. Listen, yeah. I know you've got to get off. I know you've got to get food. Sandy and I yeah. keep in contact anyway, so our conversations continue offline. But listen, I really appreciate, oh my God, the award today. Yes. I know, oh my God, yeah. Freedom, How yeah, do I freedom. forget? So good at it. I'm going to cup it with the mayor as well. So I saw you looking all pop. <laughs> it was nice though. It was an honour. It's great. Listen, yeah. onwards and upwards for you. Um, like mm -hmm. I said, I know you've got bits to do. Keep in touch. Let us know what you're doing. And, you know, anytime you want to jump on, if you want to do a YouTube live where we can get interactive with the viewers, just uh, follow up. Cool. Yeah, because I'd love to speak to you. I do need to start doing stuff like that, to be fair. Well, they'd love to speak to you. Um, I've yeah. got some really good subscribers that would ask some good okay. questions and not be, you know, offensive or anything like that. But yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, oh. our very own world champion, Thank Sandy you. Ryan. Until the next time. People say I'm toxic, and honestly, I don't care.